listen to me. President Trump is an attractive man. I've seen him. The liberal media portrays him as a 600-pound person. He's not. He's a 10-pound man. Tops. 10 pounds. Charlie, yeah. listen to me. He's 10 pounds. If he were an emotional support animal and you want to fly with him on Southwest, you could sit with him on your lap and without having to put him under the seat. He's 10 pounds. 20 pounds. Tops. But the liberal media, they show you what they want you to see. But I will continue to support Donald Trump from outside of the White House. The Republican establishment. We're good people. We're good Americans. Hillary Clinton is not. She's in with some bad folks. Poxitani Phil. Ben and Jerry. Lena Dunham's boyfriend, who's a lesbian. Mitch McConnell told me he wants me to stop brushing my teeth in front of his house. Oh, right. I'm not. I wasn't. It's ri that's ridiculous. You're scaring my wife. You're coming out every afternoon, every evening, and you're locking eyes with my family dog, and you're going to town brushing your cake munchers facing my house. I'll tell you well, how I debunk this. I'm a morning brusher. I don't brush my cake munchers in the evening. They're all snakes in cat's pajamas, Charlie. They're all... I'm going to war with Mitch McConnell. Uh, Paul Ryan, Ben and Jerry. I was happy when Bernie Sanders almost dethroned them as the deities of Vermont. For too long have those two lesbian icons ruled with iron Birkenstocks. On many fronts, people... I'm hungry. Do you have a cat? Yeah. Look, on tax day, I told Mitch McConnell that I don't want to pay my taxes. Instead, I want to be tickled all day. He didn't like this. He told me to back off with that talk. It spooked him. It's turning the system onto its dick. I want to go into h and Block, and I want them to turn my W-9 into an origami pooch and tickle me until I can't stop giggling. And this is what Donald Trump does. And it scares the lollipops right out of the liberals who was stanks. Donald Trump knows about Americans. He knows that the libertarian's American dream is riding on an all-terrain vehicle, goatee in the breeze, transition lenses going from clear to charcoal, going whizzing around a target. Donald Trump knows that libertarians are the opposite of Cinderella in that small animals and birds hinder their everyday life. Hillary Clinton didn't know that. And that's why we're going to win in 2020. When I started working for Donald Trump, I made a promise to myself to always be wearing every kind of shirt that Tom Cruise wore between 2001 and 2002. If Tom Cruise had fallen off the cliff in the beginning of MI2 and landed in a volcano and found a Chili's to go in there and lived off of entree-sized appetizers, that's the vibe I'm going for. Donald Trump is an American. He's seen Daddy's home. He liked it. Meanwhile, Obama is probably watching some Greta Gerwig bullshit She's not as charming as you'd like to think she is. Charlie, she's not. She's just, just, just not. Charlie, she's, she's, she's not. She's not. Obama's probably watching some Greta Gerwig movie where she teaches some NYU freshman how to dance with her hands over her head and shows her where to get the best falafel and Port Authority. <clears throat> Meanwhile, President Trump is watching the Daddy's Home 2 trailer for the 14th time today and laughing at all the same spots. And that's why we're going to win in 2035.